So we always train as we're deployed, and that's what we do here. The sappers of the Texas Army National Guard's 836 Engineer Company traveled from their home station in Kingsville, Texas to Camp Swift for a week of combat engineer training featuring a scaled scenario simulating a real-world deployment. We're training on our warfighter mission. We've been uh, deployed to Operation Red Bear in support of the local nationals, trying to provide security for them. We have voting, voting coming up next week, so we want to make sure they're able to get out and vote and not feel pressured by the uh, local rebels. The training, held July 13th through the 19th in Bastrop, Texas, allowed the Guardsmen the opportunity to return to their roots as sapper soldiers and engage their traditional warrior skills. Uh, it takes a lot of work because there's a wide skill set you have to be uh, up, up to speed on. You have to be able to go from one mission, say you're clearing a minefield, to now you're assaulting an objective, breaching a wall, something like that. It's just a lot of different aspects of the Army that you incorporate, incorporate into one MOS. You have to be able to meet timelines, be uh, quick to the objective, be able to load up and go in a moment's notice. The scenario additionally serves as a validating exercise to demonstrate to senior leaders that the company is fit for overseas service. Getting back to the basics of what the sapper and the engineer mission um, is doctrinally, so it's a great experience for these guys. The end state is uh, that we pass the assessment and uh, get the good word to return to the deployment pool and we should have that by September. So. Reporting for Joint Task Force 136 Maneuver Enhancement Brigade from Camp Swift in Bastrop, Texas, I'm Master Sergeant Daniel Griego.